I've got to be honest with you, I can hardly believe we're talking about it. Mm. One major talking point has emerged this morning, and we have to talk about it. Of course we do. One story on the lips of the nation. If you haven't heard of this, you're about to hear more about it now. A video has emerged last night of West Ham's Kurt Zuma kicking, chasing and slapping his pet cat in the kitchen of his home. Now, since then, his behaviour has been condemned by West Ham United, by the RSPCA, and uh, Kurt Zuma himself has been forced to apologise. The question is, will it be enough? Um, just before we came on air, Simon, uh, a source at West Ham told me this. Zuma is very stressed by this whole situation and he is very remorseful. He is sorry and he's upset. He has made a big mistake and he realises that this is unacceptable. So what will happen now? West Ham tell me there could well be a disciplinary hearing and any fine that's imposed on the player will go to the RSPCA. Uh, will they play or not tonight? They play Watford tonight in the Premier League. Whether he plays tonight or not is up for debate. So how about this? Yeah. Um, Ali McCoy, before I come to you, Simon, Ali McCoy was talking about it to Laura on breakfast. It was sickening. It was pathetic. It was bullying of the extreme. Again, tarnished the image of professional footballers. It, it, was, it was embarrassing and shocking and horrible at the same time. It was all of those things. You'd have to speak to him. You'd talk to him. I don't think I'd play him. You'd try and keep the discipline and how she I don't think you can play him you've got to leave him out and you've got to be seen to be doing the right thing so Ali's saying there he doesn't think that Zuma can play tonight mm -hmm. and as I said West Ham top source at West Ham told me moments ago whether he plays or not tonight is still up for debate mm -hmm. two questions here I think Simon one how much reputational damage does it do to West Ham as a club and two should animal abuse be regarded as a sackable offence Look, you can't say this does reputational damage to West Ham or to footballers per se. You have to say how West Ham handle it and react to this situation or determine whether it does reputational damage to West Ham or not. I mean, all the adjectives and descriptive terminologies that Ali used, we can all use. It's the most absurd, ridiculous, puerile, cruel, unkind set of behaviours. The fact that it's filmed by somebody and, and put out on some form of social media, even in the deepest, darkest recesses of someone's stupid, brainless mind, would you think that that was something that you'd want to do? The cruelty side of things, look, you've got a player that's behaved in a fashion which is all the things that we've been describing and all the things that the other shows have been describing. We can keep on piling on the superlatives or the adjectives about what this player has and hasn't done. Look, the bottom line is is that he probably shouldn't play tonight because if he's remorseful and regretful, he's not. He's remorseful because he's been caught, but he hasn't actually been caught. He's posted it himself, or his brother's posted it, or whoever took the video has posted it. Which so is, he's is incredible. He's in out of himself. Yeah. So it shows a certain type of behaviour. I, I don't want to get into the territory of saying it gives footballers a bad name because he's not representative of the other two and a half thousand footballers that play in the Premier League or assigned to various clubs in the Premier League or, 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 or the Premier League Championship, EFL, and whatever else. He's just a very stupid young man that's behaved in a very stupid, unkind fashion, and he will have to suffer the consequences of it. Now, whether that moves into the territory of sacking a player and taking him out of contract, I'm sure lots of people will believe that that's the extreme it needs to go to. Whether he's able to redeem himself, whether he's able to find a, mes a methodology to be able to diffuse the endless amount of observation that's going to come his way, all of it deserved, all of it merited, whether he's going to be able to find the tools and the mechanisms to reduce the noise and reduce the, uh, the absolute contempt and disdain and disgust that most of us will hold him into, whether you're an animal lover or you're not. Yeah. <laughs> cruelty to anything is, is just simply cruelty. And it shouldn't ever be engaged with or tolerated. Whether How West did West Ham, Ham reduce the noise level of this? Well, I, I suppose West Ham have got to understand the ramifications of it. And the ramifications of it are, is that there is a vilification coming their way next Ooh, if they is, do isn't not just? handle it. If David, yeah. David and Karen don't handle this properly and get the maximum amount of contrition the maximum amount of redemption opportunity from this player, the consequences around it 
are that the player in this society is going to be absolutely vilified. So, what, so what do you do? I mean, they, 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 Take, they said this morning, as I said at the top. You can't play them tonight. Right, there'll be all... a disciplinary hearing yeah. and any fine will go to the RSPCA. You would expect that. Okay, well, you'd course. expect That's that. That's a default setting. How can he play tonight? Well, I don't think he can. I don't think he can. One school of thought would be get him out in front of it because he's coming his way in, in, in any case. Another school of thought would be if the player is now sitting there realising the enormity of the stupidity, not just from the act but from the fact that he's allowed it to be broadcasted if you're going to do something as stupid and as vile as that you'd want to keep it away from people not broadcast it as if it's some some idea that exactly. somehow someone's going to appreciate exactly. that exactly now the bottom line is is he will now have the penny being dropped however silly and and silly and gormless and stupid he may be yeah it, the penny will have dropped yeah. so that can't prepare him for a game his pre preparation for the game should be the least of people's concerns. Well, I hear he's in bits this morning, well, but I mean, I'm looking at the messages, get, Simon. He's getting slaughtered. Jim Zuma's stressed about the situation. There's one listener. Is he as stressed as a cat was? Yeah. Chased around his kitchen and kicked? Yeah, yeah. Look, we, we, we know the length and breadth of it, and there has to be a consequence for it. It's about how... The consequence of it cannot be by an angry, snarling mob telling no. people what the consequence should be. It has to be by people looking at it pragmatically, looking at it... It's not a it. mob, though, Simon. Well, no. I mean, there's, well, a, there's a huge, huge uh, opinion Okay. Well, Throughout the country this well, morning, whatever the I mean, people are tuning into Talksport to hear what we think. Now we're getting yeah. what you think. Yeah. But as an owner, Simon, I'm not sure he he'll get over this. Well, I'm not sure he'll survive I mean, this. But we okay. But we, we we must be able to live in a redemptive society. We must be able to live in a situation where somebody looks at themselves and go, "The hell was I thinking? What was I doing? What was going on in my head that a I would do such a thing, which is cruel, but b I'd video it, so I've got no understanding of what I'm doing. There's no, yeah. there's no button in my mind that says this is not very good, this isn't very clever, this is cruel. And then I'm, I, I've not registered that thought. I'm then going to video it. So you've got to look at the situation and go, okay, in isolation, take back the situation, pair it back for a moment, and say, okay, does this get this guy sacked? Does this get this guy out of a contract? Does this get, does get, does this, get this guy absolutely ruined ad infinitum? Is it, or, is it a sackable offence? Um. Is it a sackable offence? Is it a sackable well, offence? Well, if you want to turn it into gross misconduct and bringing the club into disrepute and ultimately damaging the reputation of the club, which contractually you're not allowed to do, then if you wanted to make it a sacking offence, I think you'd have probably good grounds to do so. If you want to make it that way, if you want to get into the nuts and bolts of what this player was thinking, why he would do such a thing, and if you can find anything in there that gives you some cause to think that there was a prevention or a bit of redemption in there and a bit sorry people are not going to like this a bit of PR management to get the situation under control then I think most owners would look at it from that point of view I'm sure there'll be other owners maybe owners that have a different viewpoint about the world that might say ultimately I don't care what this player costs I don't care what the economics of it are I don't care he's just guilty of the most deplorable offence so he gets sacked I am looking at the messages Simon but no one it, can defend it you can't, it's, it's, got, it's you, unbelievable there is a, but there's Jim, a massive wave of opinion but it would be unbelievable if there wasn't you can't, oh no true, true. You, can't, you can't defend the indefensible uh, true would you sack him I would have to take all of the would situation. you sack him I, I don't know Jim because I'm not, I'm not neither, neither one of us are the length and breadth of what this player's response to this is what his explanations are what he can possibly bring forward to the equation what he, what he suggests he's going to do next how he finds a mechanism to be able to unwind the ridiculous thing that he's done and that's, to some extent, for him to come to us with, because it's his career that's hanging in the in 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 the in the in the ether. Absolutely. I mean, from what I was told before I came on here, he's sorry and upset. Right? Yeah, well, we get that. It, he made a mistake and he realizes it's unacceptable. I would think. I would think Moise has got a problem fielding him tonight. Well, yes, we go back to that point. I mean, I, 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 I don't think his mind is anywhere well, near, no, wouldn't it? I mean, this is, and Simon, this is just the start of what he's about to get. Yeah, it is. And, and, and one understands that. And, and he's going to get all of the things that his behaviour merits. Right? That's what he's going to get. He's not going to get away with anything. There's not going to be any situation where he doesn't get affected by this. If it starts with <coughs> the fact that he's in pieces because he's so... He, mu he must be looking at himself going, what in Christ's name was I thinking? Yeah. And what in God's name was I allowing this to be filmed? Yeah. Right? And all of yeah. that will be going through. And then he'll start to realise the gravity of the ridiculous behaviour that he's en engaged in. Yeah. And the cruelty. So he'll, he'll have his animals taken away from him. He'll have all kinds of orders put on him in terms of his behaviour. He'll have consequences in the media. He'll lose sponsors. He'll lose all different aspects of his career. He'll lose sponsors. Do you think well, he's well, going to really be punished for this? Well, I would imagine. Financially. Well, of yeah. course, sponsors, the, f the first people that run away are sponsors. It's normally the sponsors that have the, the, the you know, the, the most sins themselves 
that run away first. But notwithstanding that particular observation, yeah. he will now suffer the consequences. It's about how far you want to. T- how far do we want to do something here? Does if he comes out and and does everything that he needs to do to redeem himself? Yeah. Does that mean that the council culture that we live in goes? That's it. You've done it. That's it. You never get an opportunity well, to redeem yourself. If that's what we're saying, if that's what we believe is right, then that's what's coming his way. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.